Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hades, where I think I'm I think we're gonna make some trades here. I think before we go back in, That's I've decided I'm actually just fine with paying enough gemstones to get nectar to give to Nyx. Or not Nyx, um to give to Meg. Uh, at this rate, we're never gonna unlock that trove upgrade, but it's fine. I, I care more about the narrative stuff, I, I think, than I do about that. So let's just go ahead and buy ourselves four keys. And then also while we're here, we're going to pay one Ambrosia for a Titan Blood. I know we're on our way toward a whole bunch of Titan Blood, but we're about to try this um, this Giga Cutter thing. And we're one Titan Blood. We're about to try this Giga Cutter thing again with the Fist of Malfun. And we're one Blood short of buying one more hit for the special. So we certainly are gaining Ambrosia a hell of a lot faster than we are using it, right? All right, can I give this to you now? Nope, I would have had to have done it before we talked to her, I guess. Oh no, I actually didn't. Ha! I bought the keys and then didn't trade them for the nectar. Need more of those, so here. There we go. Got you some more of that contraband you like. Don't suppose I could help you put it away or anything? Look at me, Zack. You think that all these gifts will make things go back to the way they were? They won't. It isn't possible. We may be immortals, but we're older now. I'd hope we're wiser, too. There's like a... There's a lot of depth in the vocal performance. Like, the way that Zag said, I'd hope we're wiser, too, there was... It was it was rich with meaning. Oh, interesting. Learn more by having conversations with Meg, and we've reached a thing. Okay. That's going somewhere. We're going somewhere here. Alright, let's go and, uh... Let's go and buy that upgrade for the fists, and then get into some trouble with them. You as multifaceted as anyone I know. Four bonus special hits. I'll be on time. Hey, what's going on back there? Okay, so this should hit six times now. That's significant. I mean, I hate to, I hate to just reproduce the same thing we just did, but. What if we go for the lightning strike again? And I, we could go for the Ares thing too, like um, Doom on special, and then you know, like we tried to do with the fist last time. And that the bonus there is if we get that, then we complete that prophecy. Uh, so this is what we're this is what we're running with on the mirror today. We need fiery presence and high confidence and faded persuasion to complete the uh, to complete the prophecy. I don't think high confidence is any good at all. <laughs> and pretty much the same with Fiery Presence, but it's fine. I switched us back to Chthonic Vitality. I didn't actually do the math, but I think Chthonic Vitality is a little bit better in the place where it matters the most, which is to say, sticks. Uh, so that's worth something. Death Defiance is so clearly the better of these two that, you know, obviously that was the, that was the switch. Uh, I'm going to try sticking with Ruthless Reflex. I don't quite think I'm good enough to really make optimal use of it yet, but I do think it's just a lot better once you are good enough. So I'm gonna try to train myself into being good enough. Uh, we went back to Boiling Blood here. I think that I, I really like 50% bonus damage to foes with your Bloodstone in them. I know I don't always take good advantage of it, but I think it's good. Um, and then, now that I understand how Stygian Soul works, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, your Bloodstone gets stuck in the enemy, and then you gotta wait for it to come back out. You gotta wait for it to the duration of it to end, and then X seconds after that, you get the Bloodstone back. Now that we know it's just, it replenishes every three seconds at max rank, I actually might like it better than uh, than Infernal Soul. I think we're gonna stick with it. Obviously, I spent in kind of a funny way, and I ended up not having enough to max it out, but it's fine, we'll get there. Uh, we're back on Deep Pockets, which I think is just, like, a lot better <laughs> than the other thing. Um... High confidence we have to use, but once high confidence is over, obviously we'll be going back to thick skin. Uh, and then I like family favorite. I like dark foresight now that I understand what it does. I don't really know what we'll do for this one, but we didn't have enough darkness to buy any of it either way, so I figured it doesn't matter. And both of these are already checked off on the list. And then faded persuasion is on the list, and also I think it's it's the one of these that I like better. And so, with no further ado. Let's get back out there and uh, and break some stuff. Should be simple. S 
So we don't necessarily need to play down at 6 heat now. We could we could go back up on extreme measures. And I think I will cuz the boss fights are just more they're more fun and more interesting this way. Uh, and then the question is do we want to go to 10 heat so that we could open up gates that are in uh, Erebus gates that are in Asphodel. If we were going to go up to that, what would, what would we do? Uh, minus three per rank per, from the bottom up. Yo, that is not a good thing for us to take right now. Fewer choices when offered boons, items, or upgrades, one per rank. I'm just looking at the things that would give us two points right away. I mean, we could we could take the third point of extreme measures, but I think we wanna we wanna make sure that we actually get this win, right? Because we we do wanna um, be able to switch the mirror back to the talents we'd like really like to have. And we are still a little bit weaker than we could otherwise be. We could... Um, I guess we could just leave it. Yeah, you know what? Let's just leave it. We'll worry about 10 heat after we have the uh, this prophecy completed. We're going to get a lot of darkness on this run. All right, one more time. Which is probably for the best. We have a lot of things we can do with Elysium. darkness. It isn't for the good. It's for the great. Great kings or killers, oft one and the same. They left their mark upon the world. Shall you? I'll leave my mark, all right. Oh, I didn't keepsake. Shoot. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go back in there and switch our keepsake before we jump in. Silly me. Uh, so I think we want to just go ahead and, and coin purse. I think, yeah, probably. We need 49 encounters on this to get it up to 100. I mean, that's not a super high priority. Gosh, and there's still, there's still this stuff to unlock and we have no idea. Man. I'm surprised by how much stuff there still is to do. Wait a minute. Is this... Do we have the right things enabled? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I only have 50 max HP because we didn't take the uh, the lowered amount of HP when we were doing the other... Yeah, yeah, never mind. I saw the 50 and I was like, did I not... Is Did it save before we fixed our, Should be our stuff? But no, we're good. So, yeah, we're still going to do this. I still, I still think this is right. Okay, now, begin escape. All right, one more time. Sorry about that, everybody. A little bit of technical Can incompetence. It isn't for the good. Yeah, we know. Great. Great. You can't skip great it. kings or killers, oft one and the same. They left their mark upon the world. Shall you? Well, it turns out the bar, uh, the bar for greatness is low indeed. I brought some hunting gear for you to try. If you could give me your attention, Zagreus. Alright, what do we want here? I don't think we want Deadly Flourish. I think we want something that procs on our special to take maximum advantage. Deadly Strike, on the other hand, totally could be good. Uh, and obviously, Hunter Dash. I, like, I, I dash strike a lot. This is always fine. I pro we probably don't want Deadly Strike. We probably want something that takes better advantage of how quickly we're attacking. I'm going to take Hunter Dash. We dash strike a lot. All right, I have restored hopes for this run, which may also lead to enhanced disappointment. <laughs> we'll see. That's pretty cool. Also, I like that these guys take exactly the number of punches that it takes to charge up the cutter. Show this skull who's boss. For the house. You know what we haven't actually tested is whether the dash upper also gets the extra hits. It's probably a thing worth knowing. Ah, 
I was trying to make sure I didn't miss him, and I got so timid about it that I ended up missing him because of it. Okay, it looks like it... It didn't look like it got the extra hits, but it did look like it got all the damage from the extra hits. Just sort of compressed into one. Which is... Obviously not as good. Uh, boy, pomegranate's not a very good... Yeah, shoot. That is not really what I want right now. I guess we're taking a level upgrade on a, uh... On a pretty low-yield common boon here. Oh, come on. I was in the middle of my wind-up. Time to collect. The Tower of Olympus. Yep, only one choice and a disappointing one at that. Um... Hearts are awfully good, but also... Hammer... The thing is, now that we have three Death Defiance again, we're not like quite as pressed on health. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this early hammer. Let's see if we can figure out something cool to do with this. It's been a while since we've seen Chaos, huh? All right, special becomes a flying kick that deals forty base damage twice. Well, I mean. It seems like playing around with the special is sort of the thing to do with this particular weapon, right? Let's try it. Let's go, Malfon. Is that... huh. I, th I assume when they said flying kick, I was thinking more like a Bruce Lee sort of horizontally flying kick. And not so much a guile vertically. F uh, okay. I mean, it's fine. Let's see. Uh, do we want a thing here? Honestly, I don't. I don't think we need a thing there. Man, you know what we haven't done in a really, really long time? Is, uh, talk to Sisyphus. I understand the hunting goddess Artemis recently has turned her gaze towards you. It is unexpected she would offer her assistance, even to a relative in need. People keep saying stuff like that, but she seems real friendly to me. Um, hmm... Your life total is reduced by 44? 6. We would have 6 health. I mean, I like the dash strike bonus, but I don't think we can do that. <laughs> let's take, uh, let's take affluence instead. Should be worth it soon enough. Hmm. You know what? Let's lean into the Ares thing. Let's see if we can get the Doom stack going. I can't actually tell if that's different. I mean, it's it's better base damage, I think. Yeah. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Jesus. Real bad. Really bad. I'm glad we didn't go the other way, though. <laughs> to come here have repeatedly been thwarted by good kin. However, we have caused such violence in the intervening time that we must take this as a real victory. Let us continue for however long it takes. Alright, pretty sure... Pretty sure this is the path we're taking. Hey, money. Pretty bummed out to see that instead of, like, an ability to shop. Because obviously it would be great to shop with this amount of health and money. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to recover now a Death Defiance. Not a great thing to happen so early. But I suppose, if it's going to happen, you want it to happen early. That way you know. What do you know, a hellfish? So I think it might be the case that the only difference between the normal uppercut and this flash kick that we have now 
is that the normal uppercut has a base damage of 30 while the kick has a damage of 40. And I mean, that's not nothing. In particular with this, uh... Really, that cast just, like, completely... It, he, it was point-blank range. He was right in front of me. Um, with this extra extra bonus hits thing, it matters. And in fact, it's probably more relevant with this aspect than with any of the others. So that's cool. But it is kind of funny that it's such a small difference, right? Just trying to be, like, very cautious here. I was on the other side of you before you hit me, you big cheater. Well, we might be going back to the house real early on this one. Like, real early. It's also possible that we could just figure this out and then carry on to, uh, to Elysium and get fixed up by Patroclus. And I suppose that has to be our hope at this point. Yeah, I am not not getting credited with my dodges here. Okay, that one worked. More punching practice then. Hey, maybe this is too many armored enemies for one room. I I would like to submit that this might be too many armored enemies for one room. Okay, that helps a lot. I am. I, oh, last chance. I hate it when I'm mid dash and you can tell because I'm still moving. Well, this is just going to be a. Right this is just going to be a wash. I think that's a shame because I wanted to. I wanted to do the thing with this kick. Yep, and then we're going to get health right afterward. Um, the fact that we were given no ability to restore our health for such a long time is a little silly. <laughs> well, at this point, there's no sense in doing other thing than doing anything other than just going as hard as possible on all of our our rooms. Just take the biggest possible reward, and either we get so much strength that we pull through, or we die and restart the run. Uh, yeah, I'll take Ares' aid. He really missed an easy shot here, Zacharias, but I will not. You'll see. Oh, she won't let this go. Oh, yeah, she's got a real, like, uh, a real quiet, terrifying energy to her. I really do like the animation for the flying kick. It looks really cool. Okay, maybe we've had enough waves. Maybe the thing could end now. How are there still new guys spawning? Yeah, that was that was a real I think I have two dodges moment there. Okay, so yeah, that was just I'll hunt you like a stag. You heard of those? This is the first time we've ever died in a trial. I didn't realize that that was the thing that happened. Uh, yeah, that was just, that was just none of my, uh, none of my dodges working, and then also me thinking I had two dodges several times. Oh, oh says here one of the wretched thugs got you too bad. They're slow, but they hit pretty hard, I guess. Have you tried moving out of the way? I haven't, no. I mean, I certainly didn't. What now, Nix? Do you realize the danger you have put her in? You claim to care for her, but now you threaten to expose her to them. Hades, when have I even once been unaware of precisely what I mean to do? I shall bring no harm to the queen, and neither shall your son. Harm to the queen? Wait, what are you talking about? Child, 
Zagreus, do you intend to betray the presence of your birth mother to the Olympians? No, of course not. She seems content to be all on her own. You take his word for it. How can you trust him not to ruin everything? Precisely how I trusted him to get us to this point. Uh, Nyx definitely has some kind of greater plan. And I'm uncomfortable about it. <laughs> Achilles, I... Sometimes I fear that Father, if he learns that you've been aiding me, that he will not be generous with you. Don't worry about me, lad. Your father's still getting caught up with work that I created for him in my mortal days. Besides, there's nothing he can take from me. We have a mutual arrangement, he and I. I hope you're right. <laughs> what, a, what a super weird thing to say. He's just like, oh, don't worry, lad. I murdered so many people. I'm such a murderer. I'm such a murderer that you shouldn't be concerned about it, I guess. What did that... Why did this have a... Huh. I guess it has a glow because we have enough to pay for something. I thought it... I thought it meant he had a new uh, new plan available. I always meant to ask you, Orpheus. Where did you learn to sing like that? Was it really Apollo himself who taught you? Oh, I... I learned from many different sources, Agrius. That is, before all of my inspiration started coming from a single source. I credit my accomplishments to her and to Apollo and the gods. And took considerable time spent practicing. It certainly paid off. Alright, I can't imagine there's going to be too much for us to do, because nothing has changed since we were last here. Oh, <laughs> thanks for talking to me, Prince. I have to go. Nice chatting. Yes, <laughs> good talk. Hey, welcome. Something smells good. Here, I brought you this fish. Seems fair enough. That is a low-value fish. Uh, well, I guess let's just get back out there with whatever weapon has the thirst. I'm really bummed out about that. I was I was looking forward to using that giant kick. All right, who ha showed up. who has the thirst today? Today it is this. Got some kind of fishing pole or what? It's a great question. Uh, did we? We didn't actually get the win with this, right? No, we totally didn't. Okay, aspect of Achilles, it is. Let's get it out there and figure out another build we could do with it. I mean, we could just make the, a similar build happen, I suppose. I don't know. I guess let's get out there and see how we feel a couple chambers in. Don't need to turn the heat gauge so high to earn those bounties. Well, sure, I don't need to. What could go wrong? Hello there, Dionysus. As soon as you get up to Olympus, man, it's gonna be a feast like you have never seen. You mark my words. Now take this, and good luck. So, we, I mean, we could do attack in Flick's Hangover. Um, I'm trying to think. what? How are we going to be... Honestly, Drunken Dash might not be bad, because we're going to often be throwing our spear into combat following it in and then dashing out so yeah I, I mean drunken dash at base level obviously is not ideal but I think this is right that's what you get all right sure let's open up with one of these and there is a world of difference between starting with 50 health and starting with, um, 100. Oh, well, I certainly don't need any of your help for that. So... Yep, Roiling Soul, no question. And I guess of these, this... Second there, I thought it forgot to spawn enemies.
Uh, remember these nice easy chambers at the beginning of the game? Where things are just like really straightforward? And you know, even without gimmicks, the spear is just like a very powerful weapon. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be disappointed about that, about losing my flash kick build all day. <laughs> It's not what I would have chosen. As soon as we survive to, uh, to transform this Chaos Boon, though, we're going to all of a sudden be in great shape. It does feel like our damage could use a little bit of love, though. Alright, well, we're ready to shop. Of course, like, hey, what, what, what room rewards would still be not very exciting to us? Oh, I know, a pomegranate. Stand aside. Actually, a pomegranate is, like, hilariously nothing for us, isn't it? I guess it's gonna add, it's probably gonna add one damage per tick to our hangover, which one damage per tick doesn't sound like a lot, but when you think about it, it is a 50% increase in effectiveness, so. I mean, that'll show them. If you, if you really wanna, you know, think about it from a pure math perspective, how many numbers are smaller than 50? I mean, there's probably at least like 10 of them. You, I hate you, little pot enemy. All set. Okay. Delicious. Great. It's basically just like a room that had no reward. Where now? It was an empty room. Uh, yeah, yarn and then go shopping. Is there one more golden pot in here, maybe? I mean, there could be one in the shop. I, I would love to be all set for um, Boon plus Hammer, you know, in case we were offered Boon plus Hammer. Okay, random Boon plus Hammer. Oh. Hmm. So, this early in the run... Right? It could be. Maybe. Thank you, mate. Uh, attack has more range and deals plus 40% damage to distant foes, or spin attack is huge and terrifying. That's interesting. I mean, we don't know exactly how the damage will stack here. I'm assuming that all of the percentage modifiers stack additively. But, so, so like, the 100% um, the, the damage bonus from our aspect probably will not stack multiplicatively with this 125% damage, but it does give us more and more reason to um, to do spin attacks, right? I might I might take this, or we could just take the extending jab and try to like play super safe. I'm going to take this. Extra pointy. <laughs> yeah, I'm into it. It is in fact the extra pointiest. Um hangover afflicted foes inflicted on other foes near them. And they inflict a better level of hangover than the one we have now. I wonder how this works. Because, like, let's say we have two enemies, A and B. We dash in such a way that enemy A takes hangover. He starts bouncing it onto enemy B. Does enemy B bounce it back to enemy A? And if so, does the 5 damage per tick hangover overwrite the 3 damage per tick? Hmm. There's not really a good way to know. We could Faded Persuasion this, but honestly, I don't know that... What else would we want from Dionysus? Is there anything else that, like, really calls to us? I think I'm just going to take this because I'm kind of curious how it works. Cheers, mate. Not that we'll be able to tell. And then, the question. Do we get ourselves... Because we already took a boon that gives us extra money, right? 
Wait, did we? Was that last run? Yeah, yeah, that was last run that I was trying to... We took Roiling Soul here. I was just thinking, like, with extra money plus the discount card, if we could make that happen, it would certainly be interesting. Then again, that fight is hard enough, and we're early enough in the run that we might get just just get wrecked by him. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna not steal. Now that we know that it's stealing, it's a little harder to defend. A welcome sight. Not that welcome. Though. Good. I certainly didn't need the fountain. Okay, <clears throat> which guy are we? If I am thinking spin attack, I guess knockback on our spin attack and lightning strikes on our spin attack are both good. Let me, um, which one of them has uh, damage? So I think the lightning, yeah, this is just chain lightning. Does Poseidon's thing is going to give us actually a, like an attack damage boost in addition to the knockback. I think I want to go that way. Ah, come on, let me out of the corner. I am not in a laser. I feel like when you're fighting the Doomstone, you take a lot of damage that isn't reflected on the screen. Like, like where there are lasers near you, but not touching you, but you are still just taking damage. My nephew, you procured the rod of fishing I detect. Oh, Fine true. Handy work, if I say so myself. Its line is nigh invisible and causes denizens of my domain to flock to it like mortals to temples of mine. Good fortune with that thing. So this is like a really good fishing rod. It's it's still just a fishing rod, to be clear. Yeah, I think we're gonna take this. Let's make some waves. We're gonna try some some big area clearing stuff. Oh no! Bolt. Let's get ourselves get all buffed up here. Launched. Wow, that. So apparently, if they hit you while you're executing the spin attack, it just doesn't come out. Come on, let me move. Damn. Not having a second dash does actually really hurt. There are some serious costs associated here. Like, because you're able to cover such a relatively small distance... Yeah, you can see. I'm... So I, th I think I'm dashing too early on most of these attacks, it looks like. Or no, too late. I, I need the... The iframes are later in the dash animation. Over there. Back to the lowest depths with uh, I'm very frequently dashing, getting caught at the end of the dash, and then getting stun locked by like there. I took I think somewhere between six and nine projectiles in the face so close together that I couldn't move or initiate a dash out of them because I was hit stunned the whole time. Uh, which is pretty bad. Well, I mean, I guess let's take the Erebus challenge. Let me in. We do not have a great Erebus challenge build, but we can just run around a lot. My wretches, boy. Probably, maybe. Let's see if I've still got it. Does it seem like this room is more zoomed out than usual? I'm gonna be really careful because a single tick of that laser ends the challenge. That said, these crystals do not have a lot of health. We just gotta get them get them ticking so that they we know where they're aiming yes 
Okay, uh, I think we're going to take 20% on our attack, although two points two points per tick on uh, the hangover is not bad. Okay, um, hmm. Do we want five max HP more than... We, we probably want the persuasion, right? Of course, I had to go and knock them all out of the uh, explosive. Not my finest work. So, as I was saying in the last run, before everything went all the way off the rails and we lost, uh, a, the loss of a Death Defiance this early obviously is pretty bad. Boy, does it feel like we're getting just way more pomegranates the last couple of episodes than we ever have before? I do really like the Poseidon uh, attack wound on the spear. Given the um, incredibly long range of the spear's attack normally, you can really just prod people way off into the distance. Worthless. God's grant me strength. Another 6% on this is probably... That's probably too small of a bonus to take. I don't actually have any idea how effective this is being. Let, I'm gonna... I'm going to take it there, I think. Like, that's the thing we can apply to bosses. The other thing is the thing we're probably not going to get on bosses most of the time. All right, well, we might get lucky and get a gold um, a gold pot in the shop and then at least be able to purchase ourselves a boon. Or, you know, it might be the random boon. But I'm not happy to see a shop at this moment. Even if it does have fish... So things have gone a little off the rails this episode. Starting with 50 health really does just give you so little room for error. And you know me, I make errors. I've come to offer my support. Okay, that's interesting. Um impervious and deflect all attacks. That's not really that exciting as a call. I'm going to Boy, what am I going to do? I guess Phalanx Shot's not bad. You know what? I'm going to take Phalanx Shot. Strength of the Goddess. I considered taking the reroll on that, but actually Phalanx Shot's okay, I think. Hello, Fury Sisters. There are knees ready. That mirror's made you stronger, Zagreus. You're fortunate to have Nyx helping you. No hot feelings. I think she feels partly responsible for all of this. She shouldn't. The only one responsible for all of this is you. And I thought even you would have understood that by now. Well, I mean, she's not wrong. Wow, the delay between the attack and being able to dash. Yeah, there's a there's a ton of uh, ending lag on the, the spin attack. I didn't realize. Okay, well, I'm aware now. Just gotta be careful. Ooh. Ah, that's real bad. So it's not just the support of her sisters. Like, Meg herself is doing bigger versions of her attacks now. Like, putting down more circles when she does this thing. Okay, that's probably the run right there. We're gonna have to uh, pull out a miracle here. I mean, it's, it's definitely a more interesting version of the fight. Oh no, the smoke. Oh god, the smoke.
I was safe. I didn't even need to move. I dashed into that. Yep, so I'm just getting hit by literally everything that's happening now. Well, maybe we can get to the end of this fight and get some darkness? Yeah, okay. That sure does do it. You're right. Oh no. I just I just dashed out of one of Meg's red circles into Electo's red circle and Ugh Ugh What is going on with me today? Oh, don't the Furies have somebody else they could be torturing? It does seem like, maybe. I must be very important to get all three of them. Achilles isn't around. It is woefully infrequent that I've cause for this, but I do have to thank you, boy. You've culled the satyrs and the vermin bringing ruin to our temple there. Blasted creatures multiply at an alarming rate. They're not doing your bidding, yet they're every bit as bothersome as all your wretched servants I've met. I'm surprised you aren't getting along. They are a Got him. upon this realm, although we have them well contained for now. And once they are rightly dead, they tend to swear to me their fealty. Pushovers. That's pretty cool. If I was if I was the god of the underworld, I would also want to have an army of loyal rat spirits. That sounds excellent. Have you considered doing music making as a recreational pursuit, my friend? You have such slender hands, why? I believe you do quite well at it. Not really been at the top of my list of late, mate. But who knows? It's something I've been meaning to try at some point, I suppose. Thanks for the words of encouragement. Of course, my friend. Prophecy foretold. Okay, we'll check in on that in a minute. Kenley, Nix. I mean, not very well. I get that they can sense details here and there, but they don't know the full extent of what's going on. Are we really so far beyond their influence? You are enshrouded from them, child. For your own benefit and theirs. They know as much as necessary to assist. And I trust they shall, for as long as you require. They are bound to one another as family, and they know that you require aid. Do not be too prideful to accept. I won't. Yeah, it's not really my, uh, not really my thing. I accept aid. If there's one thing Zagreus does well, it is accept aid from others. Freshly caught, just for you, Chef. Done deal. All right. I am looking at the clock. It's 43 minutes into the into the hour. Probably we shouldn't start another run. I'm really fr I'm really like bummed out though. Very frustrated by the results looking good. of today's episode so far. And like I don't really want to use the bow thing yet because because we don't have the blood. We were, we were supposed to have all this blood by now. Hmm. Very frustrating. So we've won a run with each weapon. This ought to be good. You know, we have a we have a an aspect we haven't even used here. I think maybe we'll just do this instead of um <clears throat> instead of using this bow aspect for which we do not yet have the correct fuel because it seems like it's going to be real bad initially un until it's got some more some more blood behind it. Yeah, the deal is we were supposed to just have all this blood by now. We should go check out what that prophecy was. Something's added to the fated list. Learn to play the lyre through training and practice. Huh. Okay, apparently that's a thing we can actually do. I thought it was just idle chatter. Do I do I own a lyre? I don't think I do. Okay, well, I guess something something to figure out for next time. All right, I'm just going to I'm going to call it there. Clearly, I need to I need to take a little break. So when you come back next time, uh, we will be much more successful because we almost couldn't not be. And we'll see you then.